102 degrees yesterday. 102. And uh, expected to be pretty dry today, although there was some talk of a possible thunder shower. Scattered thunder shower. I thought what we might do is take our tree guide and go into the wood with it and see if we can't do some identifying. Also checking the ponds and so on. This one's now completely dry. So no more barn swallows fishing in here, as it were. I think the one over by the other tree still has some water in it. We'll have to take a look. These are Huasachi right here. We've identified that Ratama over there. Those are Huasachi as well. Now this guy, this funny fellow who all year long does different things with his leaves. For a decade and a half I've been coming here, or more. And uh, I've never bothered to identify this tree, which I think probably regular arborists or people who aren't like me, biased against trees, would know. And so why don't we see if we can't figure this thing out today. You're probably laughing at me if you know what kind of tree this is. But look at this here. Yeah, this pool's gone too, huh? Red wasps. But yeah, that's going to be it for water for a while, I think. All right, let's see if we can figure out what this guy is. There's a lizard on that tree. Oh, he just went running up that bark. Because I moved. There was a lizard on that fella. Sorry, shaking. I think this could be a candidate here. The black willow. 15 to 60 feet, deciduous, linear, up to 5 inches for the leaves. I've never really seen flowers on this thing, and it says the flower is a capsule with silky hairs that become wind-borne, so that would make sense. It would be very difficult to see that. Sorry. That thing. But you can see here why I'm making the argument, I think, for, uh, based on the leaf, the black willow. The other possibility, I think, is the honey mesquite, this guy. But that doesn't look right by the shape. Uh, the leaves are close, and there's no pods. I don't see any pods around anywhere around here. So this is possibly a black willow, is my first guess on this. We'll go look it up on the computer later as well. Yeah, when you look at it from here, see, from the shape of the black willow, it's feeling very much like that, I think. You can see what I mean here. So that's a strong candidate for a black willow, Salix nigra, possibly. We'll look it up shortly. But doing more tree identification here in the RPRZ, we're going to take a little walk into the wood. 14 acres or so in the floodplain. The Rocky Point Recharge Zone. <laughs> 